Well, our ohina, we, uh, we chose Navahi and we kind of delved into his life. Um, and there's a lot. Joseph Navahi, he's uh, a legislator from Pune through the second half of the 1800s. He was born in Kaimu in Pune. He was famous for representing his people, which made him very admirable in, in that time. He was admired by his people. He was admired by his, by his queen, by his colleagues. We are kupa mahope kono poe, mahope kono aina, mahope kono moi. And so we're not telling the complete story, but it's like a three-second clip here, and a five-second clip here, and a maybe a forty-five-second clip here, and maybe even a five-minute short film here. But we're not giving the feature-length film. But the hope is that people will eat that palu and and want to look for the you know the the real bait. And, and latch onto that hook so that we can, um, you know, bring it into our va'a. We take a, we take a year. I get 1893, I think I took off the, st off the start, and I'm going through, pull out of, you know, maybe five, 10, 15, 20 articles, whatever it is, and I'm gonna do these. This research on um, Joseph Navahi is very important. Um, there's a lot of information about him right now, but I feel like not everything is told and all the different angles to his story um, aren't widely available. Uh, so especially for um, Pa'ani, one of the other members in our uh, Navahi group, he teaches at Navahi. So he was a legislator amongst many other things. He was a self-taught lawyer, kind of famous for being a self-taught painter as well, surveyor, uh, school teacher, so there's many, many different stories related to Navahi. But uh, through 1891 to 94, which is what our Ohina is focused on, the lead up to and the aftermath um, from the overthrow. Now you had Well, and Ho'okahuli, Oyapaki Koho. Okay, okay. The overthrow take down Kelano Mea Ho'okahuli. Okahuli is more to um, alter, edit, even though they're really overlapping. It's Hokahuli is what uh, uh, relates to overthrow. Kahuli here. Yeah, Hokahuli here, Hokahuli, Kahuli. So the difference, you know, take note the difference between Kahuli and Kahuli, right? Joseph Navahi was famous for being. Uh, one of Lili Okalani's most, one of her fiercest allies. Um, and during that time, there was a lot of uh, temptation to, to bail out. It definitely wasn't the easy choice, fighting for the queen, uh, fighting for his people who was far away from Honolulu, um, in Hilo and Puna. That wasn't the easy choice, but it was, uh, it was always a choice that he made. So that's what made him special. And that's kind of his, his story in a broad sense. But our Ohina, looking at his stories, like all of these different rabbit holes that we uncovered, um, his interpersonal relationships with, uh, with people during that time, kind of uncovered a lot of rabbit holes that, uh, that I'd like to keep on researching personally. I was kind of apprehensive at first because this could this could get boring real quick to a 14 year old. Huh? Okay, we're gonna read old newspapers, guys. Oh god, okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, but uh, kind of framing it in a certain way, kind of showing them like, hey, this is the story that you guys know. Okay, and this is the story underneath that story that you guys need to know. I think it's, it's a really neat opportunity that people will be able to access this information without having to enroll in a university, without having to, you know, go in and meet the monster that is the Hawaii State Archives or the Bishop Museum. I think our issue is, has always not been interest in these things, it's been access. And so if we can eliminate the issue of access, which we're trying to do, then I think that allows for the interest to grow 
Um, because I, I do believe it's there. The issue is being able to access that interest. And so I think that's the issue we're addressing.